This is Roll With It Unplugged, a casual take on telling improvised stories through role-playing games. Today's episode is the first of a three-game series of Everyone is John, a light role-playing game by Michael B. Sullivan. Adam Bracken, Chris Kruger, and Jim Weaver are joined by GM Brian McKittrick. Roll With It. Okay. So, to begin with, we have a bid for control. Take the willpower you are willing to bid, hold it in your fist out, and when we've got all bids, we will reveal and do it, and we'll see who gets control. Oh, John. Alright. Reveal? Three. 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 Oh, wow. <laughs> Great time. So, one. So, we can keep two. Two. So, if we don't spend that? Ah. Uh, if one. you do not win, you get to keep it. Two. One. Wow, okay. <laughs> Alright, John. You are John. You wake up. Uh, you are in, you're in a library. There is books, shelves full of books. You are sitting at a, ta- a long table of some kind. Um, it is close to evening. The sun is setting. Um, there's a window right next to the table. There is one book on the table open. Uh, it appears you had fallen asleep onto it, judging by the drool. Um... The, the book is written in a language you don't know, mm. and it really hurts to look at it for very long. Mm. Uh, outside the window, you can see the library you're in is pretty big. Um, there's sort of a bend in the building, and you can see the front entrance from where you are. Um, there's a tree that's covering the first word, but it's university library, so I guess you're on a campus. What do you do? I stand on the table mm-hmm. and say, Hey, everybody, you know what time it is? It's time for Uncle Nutsy's Playhouse! Uh, silence. As the echoes die away. There doesn't seem to be anyone in here at this time. You do hear, just on the verge of hearing, strange whispers. Oh, boy, is that crickets? Let's go find out! As you move away from the table, the whispers die. It seems like they're coming from the book itself. Oh! Well, boys and girls, it looks like we have a strange book. Do you pick up the book? Let's read it! Reading is fun. So you, you, you go to the cover. Um, there is no title on the book. Uh, it is bound in what feels like very strange leather. Mm-hmm. And it has some sort of... Is it like a face? No, oh, it feels very <laughs> strange. Oh my. Do you wish to read? Yes, absolutely. Okay, give me a roll. Uh-huh. A two. A two. Well, what, do you, what book do you think this is? Well, clearly, boys and girls, this is about clowns. It's about how to make funny faces. <laughs> Let's make faces at the book. And the book makes faces back. <laughs> ah, ah, and John is freaked out by the Necronomicon. Everyone give me another bid for control as John failed in action. Hey, a learning opportunity is never a <laughs> Well, yes, but... Forbidden knowledge is something, you know... <laughs> What's it doing in the college library? <laughs> I didn't say which college it was. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, Canadian college or something. All right. Two. John, you're in a library. You're holding a very strange book. It really hurts to look at it. You are seeing horrible visions now. Um, and whispers, strange noises... Flickers at the edge of your vision are tormenting you. What do you do, John? Um, let's see. I pick up, uh, is, there, is there a chair nearby? Yes. Okay. Um, and you said there was a window? Yes. I pick up the chair, and I go to the window, and I smash the chair into the window. Give me a roll. And your skill does apply to this one. Oh, no, no. It does not. It does not. No, not your skill. Uh, clunk. <laughs> does, not, uh, does not shatter that window. It's kind of a flimsy chair. Mm. Uh, although you do, now that you've gotten closer to the window, you actually do have a better angle on the sign out front. Um, you only see half of the first word, but it's tonic. Okay. 
And there's a bid for control. Yeah, well, I know where we are now. Yeah, I think everyone does. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> All right, reveal. Oh, goody. Okay, let's see. Nazis? Nazis? Nazis. With a Z. With a Z. <laughs> um, you're holding a chair. Uh, the book is back on the table. Uh, you're standing at the window. Oh, kids, it looks like it's time for lion taming. It's time to get my whip. So I want to find the the closest thing that I can find to make into a whip. Maybe the curtains. Uh, there are no curtains. No curtains. No. There's like shutters. Okay. Is there like um, uh, I don't know. What, what, do you, what do you call those things that are at the movie theater where they put them between the two? Mm, not in, not in this library. No. Okay. You'd have, you'll probably have to leave the library to see if you can find. Okay. Well, it's time to leave the library then. Yeah. Um, as you enter the hallway, I'm also looking for a line. Yeah. <laughs> as you leave the hallway, uh, you hear a scream come somewhere from down the hall. Ah! That must be where they're keeping the lions! Uh, so you run that way? Uh-huh. Uh, you c- it seems to be coming from a stairwell. Downstairs. Ooh! In the basement. Lions in the basement, boys and girls! I still don't have my whip, but that's okay! <laughs> so, how do you proceed? I run down the stairs, citing random facts about lions. Okay. Um, you come to a locked door. Oh. Um, the lion is the third largest animal in the animal kingdom. Kick. <laughs> His fur can be made into lovely coats. Kick. <laughs> it's a little known fact that uh, the, the, the lion is the smartest animal in the world. Kick. Give me a roll. Okay. <laughs> Um, well, apart from severely bru- bru- bruising your foot, mm-hmm. um, all you've managed to do is bring someone's attention to the door, Ow. and someone else is going to have to deal with that person after a bid for control. Here we go. All right. John, you are standing at the door, and as it opens, you see a figure clothed in yellow, in a big yellow robe. Password. He looks like he's some sort of authority figure. Um, I go ahead and uh, drop my pants and urinate on (laughs) him. What? (laughs) Who are you? Roll, please. He's John. I'm not. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Battle. Yeah, it's like lunatic closes the door and locks it. (laughs) College kids, I tell you. And a bit for control. So, uh, John, you're standing on the door, you have no pants, smells bad. <laughs> right. Um, I don't know why I took my pants off, I'm going to put them back on. Okay. Um, and then, I'm inside right now? You're in a basement. I'm in a basement. Which is not very high. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to leave the basement um, and go outside, you know, outside the near store. Mm-hmm. Um, look around, do I see anything particularly tall, whether close or in the distance? Um... Campus doesn't have any tall buildings. I mean, the tallest you get is two floors, and that's not tall enough. Mm. Um, you do see in the distance uh, what looks like a church steeple, and then not good enough. Uh, let's see. There's a flagpole. No. Uh, you're probably gonna have to go into town then. Yeah, I'm actually gonna call a taxi and uh, get a ride to the airport. Okay. Um, you don't have any money. Ah, that puts a damper on things. Hmm. I am going to look around and see if there's anyone with um, a skateboard. I'm going to roll. Okay. Pick two numbers, please. Um, one and six. Uh, you do not see anyone with a skateboard. You do see a security, one of those guys that has the vests on a Segway. <laughs> Good enough. So I'm going to go over to him. I'm going to shove him off the Segway. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait. wait, wait. <laughs> And I'm going to try to take the segue. Give me your roll. All right. Your skill does it fine. Cool. Because I... Five. Yeah. You shove him off and then just do a sick wheelie yeah. on a segue. <laughs> on the two wheels. On the yes. Segue. It's actually like, one, like, it's like I, I lean over on one wheel and I'm sort of like bouncing <laughs> oh, on nice. the segue. Yeah. Um, and then when I'm able to, I sort of bunny hop onto a uh, like a little low wall and I'm able to sort of like do a 50-50 grind on it. Yes. And hop back uh, off, keep going. Is that a thing? 
<laughs> Where are you going? Um, looking for an airport. Okay. Um, Where did you take your segue? Was that... There isn't an airport nearby, but... Um, well, I'm looking for signs that would point me in that direction, basically. Signs you see are hospital, uh, asylum, and... Lighthouse. Lighthouse. And you know the lighthouse is on a cliff face. Excellent. I uh, head toward the lighthouse. Okay. This will take more than 10 minutes. So, because John is doing nothing, he's not going to fall asleep because he's busy, you know, grinding on yeah. a segue. But there is a bid for control, and we will cut back to John when he gets to the lighthouse. Real? Two. Two. Three. Ooh. John, you're at the lighthouse. Your segue is out of battery, though. That's fine. Got where I need to go. Um, so, when I was on campus, I had a backpack on me. And it looks normal-ish, uh, but what people don't know it's got a parachute in it. Uh, I always carry my parachute around with me. Yeah, who doesn't? Um, and so, I see a cliff, and I'm going to jump off of it. You see a cliff, that's right. Mm -hmm. You also see a lighthouse. It's on the edge of the cliff. You know what? Yeah, I need to get up to the top of the lighthouse. Uh, lighthouse door locked. Ah, excellent. Um... Hmm. There are lights on inside. The The big light at the top is not open. Or not on. Do I see anything on the outside that I might be able to climb? Um... There is, like, vines growing up. And you could try climbing that. I will do that. Alright, give me a roll. I, I'll say your skill. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, you fall off. Sweet. You hit the ground, and there's a bit for control. Mm. Alright, reveal. Two. Two. Roll off. Oh. Okay. Oh. John, you're lying on your back. Uh, your back. Uh, there's a dead segue nearby. There's a lighthouse and a cliff. There are lights at the bottom floor of the lighthouse. Okay. How, fall, how far did he fall? He got like three feet up. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, okay, kids. Well, it must be time to... Uh, <gasps> we're here! We made it to the clubhouse! Oh, boy! Let's go inside! <laughs> Uh-oh! We must have forgotten the password! Yeah, that's my password. Kids, the word for the day is lighthouse. Can you spell lighthouse? Can you L I <laughs> see if lighthouse was at no the lighthouse is not the password? Leave <laughs> brown! <laughs> For Mars come back. Well, it's Uncle Nutsy, and we want to come inside. I don't want you to fire. Five seconds. One. Number comes after one. <laughs> uh, three. Bill, Bill, can you help me out? No, I'm not going to help you out again. Oh, look, it's an open window. <laughs> <laughs> but you did fail, so there is a bid for control. Okay. Real? Two. Off. Ah. Ah. There's an open window. And trespassing, you know, it's one of your favorite, favorite things. Yeah, I go, I go right in the window. All right. You see two huge men um, who look, they have a greenish pallor. Uh, they look kind of chunky around the neck. And they see you and they look angry. All right. Hey, you there! Stop right there! In the name of Gagon! No, I'm not stopping. And I just, I, uh. They're, they're gonna try to grab you. I punch him in the face. Roll the punch. Ah. <laughs> oh, you should have spent one. It feels like you're yeah, slapping yeah. fish. <laughs> uh, but their punch does not feel like slapping fish, it feels like unconsciousness. <laughs> and. John goes unconscious. And since John goes unconscious, everyone gets a little power back. Woo! And we'll see where he wakes up after a bit for control. You got it. You wake up. You are tied to a rock at the bottom of the cliffs. Um, oh, I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's more of those weird guys that look kind of fishy around the face. Uh, and they're chanting something at the water's edge. They don't seem to notice you right now. Can I chew off the uh, want, the ropes? Okay. I chew through the ropes. You want to chew through the ropes? That's a roll. I chew through the ropes. Wow. Oh wait, I'm gonna also give one to give myself a little extra chance. Okay. 
and I still fail. Oh. Still take that one though. Oh really? Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, the ropes are too low for you to reach with your teeth, mm-hmm. and there's a bit for control. Reveal. Roll. Five. Ah. All right. There's people! Finally, an audience! Hooray! No kids, though. Yeah, maybe they're large kids. <laughs> they're, they're kids at heart. <laughs> but you're tied up against a rock. Well, what better way to learn about new people and make friends? <laughs> hey! Hey, guys! Why don't you come over here and talk to us? Um, one of the uh, men who is not participating in the chanting comes over and says, Quiet! Seven better start! I seem to have accidentally been tied to this rock. Nothing else to tell about it. it. Can you help us? No. Ah, uh, well, see, I have a little problem. I can't reach my boot. Where do you need your boot? Well, if I told you that, then it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? Give me a roll. <laughs> yeah! Oh, okay. Seems fair enough. And he lets you get to your boot. Excellent. I pull out a balloon. Oh, balloon. <laughs> Do you... I'm going to make him a balloon animal. What, what kind of... Look, actually, let's roll it first. Uh-huh. Uh, and then we'll see what kind of, what kind of balloon animal yeah. I make. Excellent. Well, just, just for the record, I'm, I'm shooting for Shogoth. Yeah! And it's Shogoth it is indeed. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he's so amused by his balloon animal that uh, he's not going to pay any attention to you for the time being. Excellent. You are free. But you succeeded at entertaining as a children's show oh, host. <laughs> you entertained it. And there's a bit for control. Reveal. Two. John, there is a big man playing with a balloon shaga. There are some people in purple robes chanting at the water's edge. Um, there's some rope on the ground, and that's about it. Right. Um, you don't have your backpack anymore. Darn. Um, I'm going to look around, see if I happen to spot it anywhere. Um... It looks like they threw it off into the water, and it's sort of caught on a rock out on the jagged reefs. Awesome. I'm going to go swim for it. I'm going to go swim for it. Are you going to do it extremely? Oh, yes. You're going to extremely swim. I'm, I'm just like ripping the shirt off, ripping the pants off, diving into the water, and just going to be... Free, your boots. Free form, yeah, free you still have your boots on. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Because so when rip- I get to the jagged rocks, I need to be able to walk. You right? rip off all of your clothes? Yeah, pretty much. Except okay. the boots. Except the, Except boots. the boots. boots. Okay. Yeah. What kind of boots are they? Um, Since you, you established that John is wearing boots. Well, they are, of course, leather. Cowboy? Um, no, more like utility. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, give me a roll to see how extremely you swim to the jagged reefs. Four. You do succeed, because you have a skill that applies. You get to those reefs, and there's your parachute, and there's a tentacle. Oh, that's a big tentacle. Oh, boy. <laughs> what do you do? I'm going to um, do extreme dodge the tentacle. Then try to get back to shore. With your parachute? Yeah. You're wrong. Three. Mm. <laughs> Instead, he's going to Well, no, that does, that does succeed because his, his, his skill applies. Because three, four, oh, five, or six. Right. Yeah. Um, so, you do nimbly dodge out of the way of the tentacles, holding your parachute mm-hmm. in your teeth. I, I'm, prob- I'm probably yelling parkour every two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and you... <laughs> The, the figures at the shore look very agitated and excited, uh, <laughs> like their, their ritual was successful, and now they're running away <laughs> as you get up back onto shore. You wonder why that, and then a shadow falls across you. Mm. Do you like, would you like to turn around and see what's behind you? Sure. Okay. Would you like to take a guess what that is? I'm guessing a giant sea monster. Yeah. Giant sea monster. Well, I bet it doesn't do very well on land. I just start sprinting in land. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't want to get up on land. It does have a long reach. So, that is a roll. All right. Extreme dodge the tentacle, once again. Parkour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, you even, like, get it twisted up so that it knots its tentacles together. Nice. And it just kind of falls over back into the water. And uh, you realize, oh, you could have climbed up on that thing and jumped off. Ah, uh, bummer. There's still a cliff face. Yeah, I'm going up to the cliff face. Give me a roll to extremely climb the cliff face. Excellent. 
Man, you just go up there. <laughs> You're at the top of the cliff face. Nice. Do you want to jump? I'm totally jumping. You're jumping. Um, in my boots and nothing else. Yeah. In my backpack. Where, where, where are you going? There, you, you see there's open ocean, or open sea, or whatever, mm-hmm. uh, to the north, because you're facing east across the sea. Okay. To the north, there is what looks like the lights of a fishing village. To the, to the south, more cliff faces and what looks like caves. Which way do you want to parachute drop? Skydive. Hmm, I don't see any like big cities anywhere nearby. No. Well, there's some weird glowing out in the sea. Like there was a sea under, or like a city under the water. Interesting. Um, you know what? Yeah, I'm actually going to go out toward that thing. <laughs> go to go out to the ocean. I figure I can do. Let's some, go to real life. I can do some diving while I'm out there. Yeah. All right. It's not skydiving anymore. It's water diving. There Give me go. a roll to see if your parachute still opens after being soaked. Six. Does indeed, and you do succeed at skydiving. Sweet. But uh, so there is a bit for control, and we're going to see who get, hits the water or something. <laughs> Reveal. Roll off. Oh no. Ah. <laughs> okay. John, you're in a parachute. That's exciting. There's the ocean. Less exciting. But there's a boat. That's more exciting. Wee! Gonna land on the boat? Wow, yeah! I'm not gonna make you roll to land on the boat because that would just be taking away control immediately. Okay. So you land on the boat. Alright. Describe your entrance. Well, I. Immediately start looking for uh, the the paddles, and I'm going to describe all kinds of fun nautical facts for the boys and girls. Well, it's not a paddle boat. It's a it's like an ironclad. It's it's like you know a uh, coast guard patrol boat. This doesn't change what I'm doing. <laughs> You're going to look for the paddles. I'm anyway. looking for the paddles. <laughs> okay, there there are like sailors and navy officers like looking. It's like what is. That what is he doing here? <laughs> Did you know that Mark Twain wrote a very famous book all about sailing the ocean called Uncle Tom's Cabin? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, you think the paddles are behind the uh, steel bulkhead that is locked shut? Of course they are. Gonna get in there? Yeah. Roll it. Um, I'm gonna spend one. Okay. Doesn't help you. You're you're straining, um, and before there's a bit for control, you realize, oh, I was turning the wrong way. Ah. And there's a bit for control. Two or no one? One. Okay. To roll off. Four. Ah. One every time. John, you're on a boat. There are sailors. They look like some of them are armed. They don't let like you be in here, but. uh, one of them gets dragged off the side of the boat, and then more things start climbing on the boat that look very bad. And they suddenly stop paying attention to you and start fighting those things. What do you do? Hmm. Good question. I was not expecting that, otherwise I had a plan. Yeah, you got some old <laughs> ones on board. <clears throat> nice. Um, I'm going to look and see if there are any um, life preservers or anything like that. Certainly. All right. I'm going to... Um, Grab one of those and basically just jump off the side of the boat, a life preserver in, in arm, and basically I'm just going to start paddling toward the thing that I was... Uh, to to the second city. Yeah. All right. Uh, give me a roll. What? <laughs> oh, let's see. You grab a life preserver. You try to jump overboard, but you don't realize that it's tied to the boat. Sweet. And it twangs you back on board. Oh, OMG! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and we bid for control. Reveal. Two. Two has it. There are authority figures everywhere, and also fish people killing the authority yes. figures. So, um, I approach the nearest, um, like, authority figure, whoever it is, and I try to steal from him. Pick his pocket. Okay. While he's, like, distracted. As he's wrestling with an old one? Yes. I'm, Give me a roll. I want to steal from this dude. You get his revolver, and... It would have helped him if he had that, because he reaches for it, it's not there, and then he gets, you know, killed. You have a gun now. And you've broken the law. Yes. And there's a bid for control. You also have a very angry fish person right in front of you. I want to deal with that next. Whoever's in control, reveal. Roll off. Fire. Aha! John, you've got a gun! There's a fish person, what do you do? Welcome aboard!
aboard uh, the SS Nutsy. I'm Captain Nutsy, Mr. Fishman. Uh-huh. He looks very surprised and confused at the strange yet shouty man. <laughs> Boys and girls, this is a unique and wonderful opportunity for us to learn about a strange culture. It kind of cocks its head and like nudges one of the other fish members like, Dude, get a load of this guy. What is he doing? Let's learn a new fish language. Oh! <laughs> Give me a roll. <laughs> to communicate. Oh! <laughs> they're into it! And you successfully put on a little show with puppets and everything. Oh, oh. Talk about Dagon, Father Cthulhu. Make some more balloon animals. Make some more balloon animals. <laughs> and it's a successful entertainment after they've killed all the sailors. <laughs> <laughs> you are entertaining the fish people. I am their new king. <laughs> no, you're just entertaining. I, I am their new jester. Yes. <laughs> and there's a bit for control. All right, kids, let's chant some great old Dagon. <laughs> Sesame Street took a weird turn <laughs> into a kid's song. Reveal. Ah, one has it. John, you have a bunch of singing and craft-making uh, fish people. They don't seem to be paying much attention to you, but you're right over the glowing lights now. Oh, sweet. Um, so while they're uh, distracted, I'm going to go ahead and just dive right off and into the water. Okay, uh, give me a roll to see if you reach the uh, sunken city. Excellent. Four. Eh, it's extreme. Yeah. You, uh, you I'm get... pearl diving experience kicking in here. Extreme pearl diving. Of course. Where the pearls are rabid pearls. Yes. <laughs> they bite you. <laughs> um, yeah, so you do make it, um, you swim through a cave and come up into a, po- a pocket of air. It seems that these tunnels uh, have air so that you can breathe. Sweet. Um... So yeah, you're in the cave tunnels. What do you do now? Uh, I'm just going to keep following the tunnels as long as needed until I find the sunken city. Um, it starts changing from rough hewn rock to to al- like alabaster marble with strange pictures carved in them. Lots of tentacles, lots of fish. Promising. Uh, bits of gold decoration. Mm-hmm. White gold. Um, yet you don't see anyone yet, but you do hear. Lots of voices chanting in unison coming from a big chamber up ahead. Sounds like it's a good place to head in the direction of. Okay. It is a big chamber. There might be big things to jump off of. Yes. Um, so you go into the big chamber. Mm-hmm. There is a... First thing you notice is a huge statue of Dagon. Second thing you notice is a huge open pool at the foot of the statue. And third thing you notice is about 50 f- people... Uh, Fish and human and human <coughs> fish, uh, all chanting, not paying attention to you. Awesome. Um, so I'm going to um, extremely stealthily. Um, <clears throat> Why do it stealthily when you can run across their backs and jump on the statue? Uh, because I want it to be a surprise when I get there. All right. So I'm going to sneak over to the statue in an extreme manner, and I'm going what? to. Uh, um, I was sneaking yeah, ex- extreme. That not actually exists. Yeah, it's, 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 I'm doing it very exact. fast. So it's, I'm you being can't. quiet, but I'm also like jumping between the things, and that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I'm not gonna say your school applies here. Okay. If you were running across their backs and crowd surfing to get to the statue, yes, but you're sneaking. That's not extreme. Okay. Four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you uh, you don't get very far before one of them spots you and sounds the alarm. Awesome. And there's a bid for control. What's an official alarm sound like anyway? <laughs> Reveal. Oh. <laughs> How many willpower points are we? I have none. Two. I have one. Okay, we're pretty, getting pretty close then. <laughs> so you might get eaten by Dagon. Am I even allowed to bid with none? Yes, in in the case that everyone else bids with none and there's a tie. Okay. There wasn't a tie. Six. Oh, there was a tie. There was a three-way tie. Yeah. None of us did. All right. Um, they're coming towards you. What, right. what do you do? Um, are they armed with anything? Uh, you see strange... Spears, tridents, and other sharp implements that look painful. Cool. Um, I'm going to uh, grab one of those and basically try to use it to help me like climb up the statue very quickly. Like grab two knives and use them as batons? Something along those lines. Nice. Yeah. That's extreme. Give me a roll. Six. All right. You get up on that statue, and you're, you're standing right up on top. Mm. Spread eagle about to dive when there are a bunch of bubbles coming from that that uh, that pool of water. Mm-hmm. What is the final action John takes? Uh, I'm going to wait to see what it is, 
make sure that it's watching, and I'm going to dive off the top of the statue. <laughs> Into its open mouth? Sure. That's pretty extreme. Yeah, Dagon comes up. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like that, like the Jaws poster, mm-hmm. that kind of thing, and you just... Give me a roll to see how beautiful the dive is. I, I call this the Jonah dive. Two. And it's more of a Jonah belly flop. <laughs> you know? And John is eaten by Dagon. All hail Dagon. All hail Dagon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, tallies by my book. We have Jim, who broke the law twice. Okay, so then there was that. There was the stealing from the sailor. Got that. There was um, when he took all of his clothes off. Public indecency. <laughs> it's very specific to say, and he specifically said only his boots were on, which I'm means he stripped yeah, yeah, all the way down. Gone. Okay. So that's three. And then potentially, depending on, uh, because suicide is technically illegal, he jumped into the mouth and killed himself. And suicide is against the law. But we're outside of a jurisdiction. Though, yeah, exactly. Right? Okay, that's fair. <laughs> suicide is not illegal in the city of real life. Okay. <laughs> so then three times then. Yeah. So that would be six points? Yep. Uh, Chris, you skydived twice. Once from the lighthouse, or once from the cliff, sorry. Mm-hmm. Uh, and once into the gaping maw of Dagon. Yep. <laughs> At level three, you have six as well. Awesome. Doc, you uh, made a balloon animal for uh, for one of Marsh's men. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can call it Shug the balloon animal, but balloon it was. <laughs> and then you put on a, a great show for all the fish people on the <laughs> ship after they killed all the sailors. So you have two at level two, you have four. Oh. So we have a tie for this game of everybody is John. Woo! Alright, cool. Awesome. That was John. Yeah, but um, we're all winners when we play everyone. Is John. <laughs> because everyone is John, and John won. Everyone is John. <laughs> Actually, John died, so maybe we're all losers. <laughs> and- this has been Roll With It Unplugged, a production of BackwardCompatible.com. The GM for this episode is Brian McKittrick, running Everyone is John by Michael B. Sullivan. The players are Adam Bracken, Chris Krueger, and Jim Weaver. Your producer is Chris Krueger. The Backward Compatible Crew, thank you for listening. Thank you.